Right, the next install, my home, got home tonight from work, nice and late, and what we got is, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, is four big acro props holding up my ceiling between the rooms. Isn't that fantastic? It's, um, well, what they've done is obviously taken down that bit. They put that huge steel that was in their living room yesterday in there, they propped up the roof, they've saved all my coving, which you can't see from this window, this view, it's all next door. And uh, they've done a little bit of work down the other end, where they've joined as per plans of Alan, my wonderful draftsman. Well, the wonderful draftsman, he's not mine. They've joined these two together with some welding and some big bolts. And it looks fantastic. This room, this is going to be superb. We used a Big welding kit there. That looks pretty impressive. Welders goggles, lots and lots and lots of dust. Big still saw for knocking out the, the walls. If you look at that as well, hang on, look at this. Now, this is a window. It's a casement window with a bit of with a bit of stained glass at the top. I don't think that's original, because everything else is um, is a uh, sash and it just doesn't sit well there and I just don't figure it out and the thing is as well that wall down there ain't as thick as all the other walls in the house to me and there's a bit of damp on it I reckon that that was once a door or something it could have been a door could have been could have been anything but there's a bit of damp there and there's that window there and I'm not too unhappy to see that come out because if there's a damp problem if it's not original and that window ain't original as long as we can save that a little bit of stained glass. I'm quite, I'm quite happy to just see that come out. So I don't feel guilty about taking that one out. Anyway, coming through. Let's have a look on the other side. Wow, it looks even more impressive. How good is that? We have four big acros again. We have a nice view through to the what will be the kitchen, and you can see there that that lovely coving, which I like, but probably to a coveling specialist, isn't as elaborate as coveling can get, having looked in catalogues recently. But I like it. A bit of cracking there and whatever, but lots of beautiful acros. Great big steel, big tea piece at the end, bish bash bosh, a lot of uh, blocks, more blocks, not sure where that's going. I think that must be to hold up this end of the acro. But anyway, two steels, which hopefully are going to fit into um, that gap there to support the outside wall. Now I measured that, so hopefully it will go in. <laughs> I always get the feeling I might have made a wrong measurement as it was in the middle of the night when I did it. It was with a tape right here. But well, let's not tell people that. But anyway, it's brilliant. Things have gone to plan. It's all a bit rubbly. It's a shame to see the wall coming down. It's interesting to see the difference in lighting between the two rooms. Hmm, cool light. Warm light, good light. But anyway, look at that. All that little bit of bits of work up there. Oh, look at that. Ooh. It's great. Lots of bits of slate propping up the roof. It is fantastic. So, that window's coming out there. This one is fatter than that one next door. I'm almost sure. And that looks to me. Ready to go. I'm a little worried that we've got all this, this kit in here, all this nice building kit. Not much security on the place, apart from me upstairs. I have to switch the alarms off in the morning so they can get in. But anyway, they'll be gone soon. But I'm sure that they do get in very soon after I leave for work. But you do have to worry. 